Man, hold on. What is this, bro? Gex? Not Gex. My mind's still on Gex. Shantae Advance? My name is Matt Bozon. I'm the creative director of Way Forward. I'm the director of the Shantae video game series. Shout out to Matt Bozon. He's goaded. And that's what I do. <laughs> do you want me to do that again? <laughs> So the story of how we went from Shantae Game Boy Color to Shantae Advance is Shantae was finished, uh, but had not shipped yet. So we were already working on Shantae Advance for quite some time at this point. Right. Shantae, the original, was very well reviewed. Um, sales were not good. So when we're taking the Game Boy Advance demo, which was about an hour and a half long, we'd start taking that to places. We go, oh, well, here we go. And they go, how was the sales data for, how did, how did Shantae the original do? And we go, oh, not, not well at all. Do you want the new game? So it was a tough market. It was really, difficult and it was all retail driven so there'd be too many creative compromises to either get it on a tiny tiny cartridge or maybe a cartridge where you couldn't save your progress we just didn't want a less ambitious shante game we wanted it to be the game that we wanted to make so um, for those reasons we just shut it down and archived all the files and put it away i'd like to finish that work it seems weird that it was left undone and i think fans would like it could you just like no. release pieces of it on the internet or something? Way. Never wanted to do it because I'm like, maybe someday we'll have a chance. Well, we got our chance now. Oh my God, are you fucking serious, the bro? The title is Shantae Risky Revolution. Risky Boots has found this cavern underneath Sequin Land. And so she sets up this device that lets her rotate the, the land above and landlocked towns that she could never plunder or pillage are getting rotated and they're ending up at the coastline so she can attack them. So it's just a big silly idea, but you as the player get to control that. So you can shift the world around, it's like puzzle stuff, and you can ultimately foil Risky by using her machine against her, but in the meantime, it's fun to slide the layers. Risky Revolution is when a lot of the main cast meet, in some cases, for the first time. So we went straight into Shantae Risky's Revenge where everyone just somehow knows everybody. There's an entire missing chapter of their lives that was never touched on. Wow. One of the things we wanted to have in this game was the link cable support, which sounds funny today. It's fun. It's a yeah. experience you don't get anymore. You just need one copy of the game. It sends it out to three empty devices. It's lighthearted and fun and really silly, and I think players will like it. I mean, to make a Game Boy Advance game in like this year is crazy, but I think it's a better version of the game than it would have been if it had come out in 2000. Or that is crazy. There's no way this game was coming back with a limited run. I mean, this is the only way that this game would ever get into. They the revisited it and finished final, it. You know, manufactured version in a box is going to be super cool, and so I can't wait for that. That is crazy, man. Yo. Wow. That is a cop. Once it's out, once it's done. Oh man, that's amazing. That's such an interesting way to bring a game back. What the fuck? That was crazy. That was crazy. If you know me, you like you know I like Shantae as well. I got a series on Shantae on my channel. Like, I did a review of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse on 3DS. Like, uh, bro, I'm a Shantae fan. I am a Shantae fan, bro. Damn. This was crazy. This has been an amazing fucking day for platforming, bro. Gex, Tomba, and Shantae. Man. Insane. In fucking insane, bro.